Hi, this is Andrew, and I'm bringing you another Keyforge deck reveal. This time, uh, I'm going to be opening up a Worlds Collide two-player starter set that I just obtained. Uh, I have my daughter, Allie, here with me. Say hi, Allie. Hi. And uh, we're going to open this up and play it together. And uh, in order to facilitate that, we are not going to look at our decks before we play. We're just going to shuffle them and go from there. Uh, we'll also try to make this pretty friendly for new players uh, or players that just aren't familiar with some of the new features in Worlds Collide. So we'll explain what we're doing as we go along and maybe even a little bit of why, although we you know, need to keep things a little bit secret from each other. So uh, in case you aren't aware, uh, Worlds Collide removes a couple of houses that were in the last two sets of Keyforge, Mars and Sanctum, and adds in the Saurians, which are these kind of Roman dinosaur people, and uh, the Grand Star Alliance, who are this sort of uh, Star Trekky uh, thing going on there. So inside the box, we find a quick start rule book. Now this is not the full rules that you would want to be familiar with in order to do tournament level play, but it is enough to get started. It explains the basic rules of the game, as well as some new concepts, uh, such as Enrage, Exalt, and, uh, and Ward, which are new in this set and were not in previous sets. We have tokens. Uh, we have three keys for each of us, uh, which we want to take care of in order to win the game. And uh, let's put our keys over on this side just so they're a little easier to see from the camera maybe. Um, and then Amber, which is uh, what we'll be collecting in order to be able to forge keys. Uh, enrage tokens, which are new. These are the new Enrage tokens right here. Uh, damage and Ward tokens as well and Stun tokens over here. Uh, the Stun tokens were blue in the last starter set. Uh, chain trackers plus one power counters. We'll just pull these counters out as we need them. And then uh, we have these cool new uh, uh, map posters that you can use for uh, for playing on. They have uh, slots on them to help with the layout. Although we'll be playing with our own uh, mats that we use normally. And uh, here are the decks we're going to be using. So these are both these are each a unique deck. It looks like they have the resealable tab here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open these up and see what we got. Like I said, we're not going to look at the deck lists. We're just going to look at the houses list. And the deal we had is, because uh, Ellie's so excited about the Saurians. How excited are you about the Saurians, Ellie? Super. <laughs> Because uh, she's so excited about them, if we get exactly one deck with Saurians, no, I can do it. Uh, if we get exactly one deck with Saurians, then uh, she will be playing it. Otherwise, if you know, if we get two decks with Saurians or zero decks with Saurians, we'll just play the ones that we opened. And it looks like we have at least one Saurian deck here. I have Untamed, Logos, and Saurian. Ooh, this I got is. Alia the Dignified. I got just Southpaw Penelope with Logos, Sarian, and Dees. Great. So we both got Logos and Sarian. I got Untamed and you got Dees. And you'll have to excuse our dog there in the background. Um... Now, you know, normally for sealed play, you don't get to see your opponent's deck, but you do get to see your own deck. Uh, but in this case, just for fun, we will be playing without even looking at what's in our own decks. And some of these cards we won't even have seen before. I've seen a lot of spoilers for cards, but uh, Ali's seen very few of them. Do you know how many, how many of the new cards do you think you've seen so far? Maybe, like... I'd say 30. 30 of them? Well, okay. Alright. Uh, do you want me to shuffle for you? Sure. Okay. It's a lot easier to shuffle with um, sleeves. With sleeves. Yeah. 
Um, so sometimes when we play together with unsleeved decks, I'll do the shuffling. Uh, by the way, cool Archons we have here. These are new shapes that I haven't seen in the previous Archons. You have this cool looking tech thing. Looks Blue like lightning. It, it looks like it has um, no legs and it looks like it's... Actually, it looks like it's kind of on like... Maybe it has like a rocket feet. <laughs> or it actually looks like a like a platform with the two legs with wheels on the end. Mm -hmm. And then it's just this tiny Logos robot. Yep. Alright, do you want to cut the back there? By the way, if you're watching and you're wondering a couple things about shuffling, you might wonder exactly how I'm shuffling. This is a technique called corner riffle. And uh, you can look that up online and find people teaching you better than I could how to do a corner riffle. Um, I first learned it from uh, my brother, who at the time was uh, dealing cards at casinos. Um, but uh, I've since also watched some videos on it. Um, also, you might be wondering, you know, a lot of times when you see people get decks, they'll start by doing this kind of shuffle, pile shuffling. Um, and the truth is that really, it, that will separate out your houses, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually randomize your deck. So you really do need to do a nice ripple shuffle in order to properly shuffle the deck and you should probably, I don't I actually don't know what the number, I know with a deck of 52 cards, the right number is something like seven to get randomness. Um, with 36 cards, it might be less. I, I really don't know. All right. Uh, would you like the forged side or the unforged side? Forged. All right. You will go first. So she'll draw seven cards. I'll draw six. And on her first turn, she can only play one card, but then after that, normal rules apply. Um, we each get a chance to look at our hands and decide whether we want to keep them or mulligan. If we were to mulligan, we'd reshuffle everything and then draw one less card. And wow, I, uh, I have exactly one card in here that I have played before. That's cool. I'm just taking a little um, while to um, to get used to my cards, mm -hmm. see what they do. Now, I actually already decided I need to mulligan. And the reason I decided I need to mulligan is I only drew one creature, and um, I, I wanted more creatures. I also get a little extra deck information that way which, you know, in random don't look at your list format is, can be useful, you know. Uh, I'm really excited about the Saurians. They have a lot of cool stuff around capturing. I don't know how much of that I'll get, but it's cool stuff anyway. Have you decided? Mm -hmm. Are you keeping or mulliganing? I'm keeping. Okay, would you like to cut my deck? All right, so now, and by the way, Key Forge rules for tournaments are that you can, when you go to cut your opponent's deck, you can even go so far as to shuffle it. Um, you really have a lot of control there. All right, so I will draw five cards this time, and it is your turn. Okay, Ooh. I will go these, and I will play it four nits. So I will need one amber, uh -huh. and I will choose your deck. So it says, play reveal the top five cards of a, a player's deck. Purge one card revealed this way. Shuffle um, the others. Uh, reveal the other revealed cards into that deck. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so uh, and that's an uncommon, by the way. So we got fetch drones. That's back from Age of Ascension. Uh, Quasar Jarda, is that right? No. Qua 
Questor Jarta. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Tarin Vapors. That's a cool one. Ta uh, Tau Tau Vapors, sorry. Wild Spirit and Grass Big Vines. Mm. I'm really liking We're seeing a lot of new cards here. great cards. Um, I would like to purge all of them, but mm -hmm. I think I'm going to purge, uh, purge Tau Tau Vapors. Tau Tau Vapors is an action that says play, draw two cards, archive a card. Now it's getting purged, so I'll go ahead and put it under my Archon card there. Alright, and the other four get shuffled into my deck. I'm going to get back to doing that in a second and go ahead and take my turn. Uh, if this were super serious, maybe we'd be more careful about that, but here I think it's okay. Um, so that's very interesting. Okay. I'm going to choose to play Untamed this turn. Uh, I will start by playing Fuzzy Gruen, which gains me two Amber. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to use my uh, I'm gonna use my existing Amber tokens here. Um, yeah, so you gain one, you can use mine as well. There you go. Alright. I should be at two. Oh, yep. And then I will also play uh, King of Fant, which is a five power beast that says each creature gains reap, destroy this creature. And then I will draw three more cards up to six, and it is your turn. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? I forgot to shuffle. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I was like, wait, I've seen these before. And that is why in real play you should do things like that right away. You can go ahead though. Okay, um, I'll go this again. Mm -hmm. I'll play Malison, which says, Fight, you may move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Then if it is on a flank, it captures one amber from its own side. Hmm. There you go. I'll play another Malison. Oh, wow. Um, well, that's very Marzi there. And I will play either room and Finding Irons. Oh, wow. And Binding Items is from the last set. It says play, gain, and your opponent gains 13. So, um, yeah, and then Enterum is a four power creature. When it reaps, destroy a creature um, with the most. Of the house with the most creatures in play. Yeah. Okay, so I gain three chains. I'll use my little Altura chain tracker here. Yep. Yeah. Get on my deck so I don't forget. Alright. And then your turn. Okay. I draw one, two, three, four. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
I will do Sarian. I will play a Retor Galene. I'll play another Retor Galene. Uh, that means your keys cost plus six during your next turn. So Retor Galene is a three powered dinosaur and philosopher. It says play, your opponent's keys cost plus three during their next turn. And when, you, when it reaps, you can exalt it, and if you do, your opponent's keys cost plus three during their next turn. And then I will play Phalanx Strike, which gains me an amber. It says choose a creature, deal one damage to it for each friendly creature. So I'll deal four damage to Malison. And then I may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. I think I'll do that. Uh, four damage only. So um, we'll use we'll use these actually. Oh, there you go. What are you I forgot. Those are the one side. <laughs> uh, so I will exalt. Um, uh, I will exalt Kangafant to repeat that effect. Okay. Uh, and it's your turn. I need to draw okay. two cards because I have chains and then I will lose one chain. Okay. Um, I think I will go these. Okay. So, um, I will have Malison fight your King of Fent. Okay. So and they both die. And I gain that amber. Yep. Um, and then and then I will play um, Dendrix. Okay. Um, then I will have Malice and Rape. Ed Edorom Rape. And then, um, oh. Hmm. Yeah, I have to uh, to destroy these. If I remember that, I would have chosen something different. But I um, think I don't, will just destroy Dendrix. Okay. Then I will play Harvest Time. Why will you destroy Dendrix? Because um, I reaped with. Uh, oh. Uh, well. Okay. You know you could reap first. Yeah, I would have done that. Yeah, you can go back and do that. Okay. So have to remember for tournaments, you can't do that. So you reap with that, and then what do you destroy? I will destroy that guy. Okay. And then I will play Dendrix, and mm -hmm. then I will play Harvest Time. I will destroy um, each demon. Uh huh. Um, so I purge those cards, but I get um, one amber for each card purge mm -hmm. with that trait. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Wow. Lots of amber, huh? Mm-hmm. How much do you have? Eight? Yep. Um, and then I will draw one, two, your turn. Okay, wow. Uh... Logos, I will play Group Think Tank, then I will play Positron Bolt to gain an Amber. I'll deal three damage to a flank creature, I'll choose Group Think Tank which has three armor, and then I'll deal two damage to Fuzzy Gruen, and one damage to Retor Galeen. Um, and then I will play Anomaly Exploiter, and it's your turn. I'll draw three cards so that I have five, and then I'll drop to one chain. So did you reap with him? Nope. Oh, yeah, you went with logos. So mm -hmm. I forged for six. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then I forged my first key. Yep. So I'll go Sarian. I'll play it pterodactyl. Okay. Twelve power creature. Mm -hmm. Pterodactyl enters play at stun. Um, 
and pterodactyl only deals 4 damage when fighting. Before fight, deal 4 damage to each neighbor of, um, for each neighbor, uh, to each neighbor of the creature pterodactyl fights. So, mm -hmm. if they okay. were to fight that, it would yep. deal 1 damage yep. and kill that. Um, I will play Senator Strix. Okay. Um, you may spend amber, amber on Senator Strix as if it were in your pool. And it says play reap, you may exalt Senator Strix. So I may, um, I will. Oh, do you want to? Sorry. Yeah, I will. I assume. And then we'll play Phalanx, Strike. Mm -hmm. I gain an amber, and I will do one damage to that guy. Uh -huh. I will exalt. Him. Uh, two damage, actually. One damage. Oh. Okay, then I won't exalt him. Um. Actually. Um. I will. Okay. Um. I will play. Reflex. So you'll exalt to repeat the effect, yeah. right? So you pick somebody else to do two oh. damage to. Okay. Um, I'll deal two damage to the Okay. Turn. Then I will play Praefectus Ludo. Uh -huh. Each other friendly creature gains destroyed. Move each amber on this creature to the common supply. Each amber. Um, yeah, okay. So your turn. Well, sorry. I'm ready. I draw one, two, three, four cards. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I will choose logos. I will use Group Think Tank's action to deal four damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. So four, four, four? Yep. Well, three. Three. And then I will uh, play Memory Chip, and I will use Anomaly Exploiter to kill Ludo. Okay. and then lose my last chip. Okay. Um, I will go Logos. Um, so, I will play it mini, wait, no. I'll discard mini group think tape. Um, so if I were to play it, it's a three power creature with two um, shield, and it says play fight reap, deal eight damage to a creature that shares a house with, with Ooh, two of its so neighbors. Oh, that's so interesting, because this is like the same as group think tank, but it's it's mini. <laughs> <laughs> so... Actually, I think I will play it, because... So it has different stats. It has... Three instead of four, two instead of three, and eight instead of four. So I, I will actually play it because it won't deal eight damage to anything. Uh huh. Um. And then Interesting. I will play. Um. Wormhole mechanic. Me mechanician. Technician. Technician. Sorry. And it says, it's a three power creature, and it says, re reveal the top card of my deck. If it is Logos, um, if it is a Logos card, play it. Otherwise, archive it. And it looks like you're playing Portal. Now you're thinking of Portals. Um, I will play Sanitation Engineer. It's Hazardous 1. It's a four power creature, and it says, re discard a card from your hand. Okay. So there's a price to pay if I want to rape with it. Um, I will play it reassembling automaton. Automaton. 
automaton. Um, this, it says destroy it if you have any other creatures in play instead of destroying resembling automaton. automaton. Auto, uh, automaton fully heal it, exhaust it, and move it to it, it to a flank. And then I will play thorium plasmate. Mm -hmm. It'll deal. It, it says move an enemy creature anywhere on its control in its controller's battle line. Mm -hmm. Deal two damage to that creature for each of its neighbors that shares a house with it. You gain a neighbor. Oh, yes, I do. Um. You won't deal any damage because they don't share a house. Yeah. Um, so I just gain an amber and that effect does not happen. Yeah. Um, I ready my creatures and I draw one, two, three, four, five cards. Your Six. turn. Okay. And you are on check. Yeah. Uh, yes, I am. Because you can spend off of there. Okay, well, I'm going to go Logos. And so, uh, because of memory ship, after I choose Logos as my active house, I archive a card. So, I will archive that. And then I will use Groupthink Tank's action to deal four damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. Um, so, this will take four more damage. Here you can just, uh, yep. And then this dies. Um. And these die. And this takes uh, two damage. Why are you coming here, me? Okay. And this would die, but instead it does its destroyed effect. Because I have. And I get those creature. two amber from exalting. Uh, then I will use Anomaly Exploiter to kill your pterodactyl. And check. I need to draw two cards. Um, what are you at? Six. Okay. Um, I don't like that you think that's an interesting question. I will go... I will go Logos. Uh -huh. I'll play Hapsis. Hapsis is a 5 power creature. It says after an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Hapsis, ward Hapsis and draw a card. Cool. Um, and then information exchange. So it says play steal one if, if your opponent stole one amber from you on their previous turn, steal two instead, which you did not. Uh -huh. um, so just steal one. And then. Um, reassembling automaton will, um, fight that. Okay. And I move it to a flank. Uh-huh. And then mini group think tank. When you reap with it, it's going to deal 8 damage oh, to all your yeah. Logos creatures. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to leave it alone. Um, your turn. Okay. Let's see here. 5. Okay. Untamed. Uh, I'll play Harmonia. She's a 2 power human witch with Elusive. It says, after you play a creature, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, gain an amber. I'll play... King of Fant, uh, who's a 5 power beast that says, each creature gains reap, destroy this creature. Because of Harmonia's effect, 
oh, there aren't more. It's even, so it doesn't matter. And then I'll play Deepwood Druid. And I'll play Grasping Vines. I could return up to three artifacts to their owner's hands. Uh, I'm going to choose zero. So now I'm at check again, and it's your turn. Uh, one, two, three, four. So now I have six cards. Um. I will go. Wait, what does that? Okay. Um. I'll go logos. Uh huh. Um. Hapsis will fight Harmonia. It's elusive, so you break the elusive. And um. I ward him. No, you don't, because it says after an enemy creature oh, is destroyed. Okay, no, I'll fight and then fight. Okay. So I draw a card. So so he takes two damage. Yes. And then gets warded. Um. So what happens when he warded again? Uh, the next time he is uh, dealt damage or would be destroyed, oh, yes. he loses the ward instead. Um. I'll play it Thorium Plasma. Uh huh. Um, and I. So. Um, gain an amber. Uh huh. And. Move an enemy, a creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Deal two damage to that creature for each of its neighbors that shares a house with it. So. I will. Um, I will choose King of Fent. Okay. Um, it deals four damage. Oh, wait. Tweet it for each of its neighbors that shares the house with it. Uh -huh. I'll leave it there. Um, Civil, okay, come. No, never mind, it only deals two. Um, and then Group Think Tank. Will I'll leave I'll leave group think tank alone okay. for now. Um, uh, okay. Your turn. Okay. I do not draw any cards. I forge for six. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, check. Thank you for that. Got okay, a pretty cool setup here. Um, okay. Thank you. I will play, uh, Favor of Rex. I gain an Amber, and I get to trigger the play effect of a creature as if I had just played it. I will trigger the play effect of Mini Group Think Tank. So I'll deal eight damage to a creature that shares a house with two of its neighbors. So uh, eight, eight, eight? Oh no! It no! It'll only hurt that. But it's not. Right. It's just no, no. What? Why would it lose the damage? Oh yeah, you it just it just doesn't take the eight. Okay. Now. Um, I will play Library of Eliasaurus. Uh, it's a location that says, action, move an amber from a friendly creature to your pool. Uh, I will play, oh, can I return my, never mind, no, I'm good. Okay. I will play Tribute. Oh, no, you, you can if No, I'm good. Tribute, I'll gain an amber. The most powerful friendly creature captures two. That's Kangafant. I may exalt that creature to repeat the preceding effect. Now I will put Imperial Sputum on to here. It gains me an amber, it's an upgrade. And it says this creature gets plus two armor and gains destroyed 
move each amber on this creature to the common supply. And then I will play Questor Jarta, who is a three power dinosaur politician with elusive, and the first time, oh yeah, it's elusive, and when it reaps, you may exalt it to gain an extra amber. Uh, now I draw five cards, so I'll be at six. And it's your turn. Um. No check for you. Okay. I will play Draco Prego. It's a four power creature and it says Reap, you may exalt Draco Prego. If you do, choose a house and rage each creature of that house. Okay. Um, I'll play Redder the Limb. Yep. My keys cost plus three. I'll play Imperial Forge for the Amber. Uh -huh. um, it says Play Forge of Key at plus eight current cost, reduced by one amber for each um, amber on the friendly creature. So, oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Which I wouldn't be able to forge. Yeah. Anyways, Senator Shrix um, says that play Reef. You may exalt Senator Shrix. Um, I actually won't exalt it. Mm -hmm. And your turn. Okay. All right. I will do Untamed. Uh, I will start by playing Song of the Wild. Song of the Wild is an action that says play for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature creature gains reap gain an amber. Um, then I will um, reap with Deepwood Druid. So I gain one for the reap, and I also gain one from the Song of the Wild. And then it destroys itself. And then King Defant will reap. I gain one from the reap and one from the Song of the Wild. And then King Defant destroys itself and Imperial Skewdom makes sure that all the amber goes to the common supply. And then I will play um, Unnatural Selection. I gain an amber. I choose three friendly creatures and three enemy creatures, and I destroy each other creature. So, uh, I will choose, um, so hard. I will choose Reassembling Automaton. So this will not die, right? Yeah, I think I'll just choose all three of your Logos creatures. So all your, all these die. Then I will play Regrowth, gain an Amber, and return a creature from my discard pile to my hand. Um, uh, I'll return Retor Galeen to my hand. And then I will play Lodon. I gain an amber if there are three or more untamed creatures in my discard pile, which there are. One, two, three, four. I gain two amber. And then I shuffle each untamed creature from my discard pile into my deck. And... That is it. I must declare check. Um, I will go Sarian. Okay. I will play um, Senator Shrix. Uh-huh. I will 
exalt it. Okay. We'll play it root todon auxiliary. Um, it is a six power creature with taunt and hazardous too. Uh-huh. And Odoak, the partition uh, the patrician. Patrician. Um and it, it captures one and it says that while Odiac, the patrician, has amber on it, your amber cannot be stolen. Okay. Um cut please. That is my turn. You forge. I will draw three cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I am already at five amber. go untamed. I'll play Harmonia. I'll play Kangafant, which gains me an amber from the Harmonia because you have more creatures than me. And then I'll play Deepwood Druid and have Deploy. And because you still have more creatures than me, I'll gain another one from the Harmonia. And check. Um, I will go... We'll go Logos. Uh-huh. I'll play it Teo Teo Vapors. Teo Teo Vapors, yep. So I draw two cards and then and I archive a card. So I'll draw two cards. And I will archive a card. Okay. Um and I will play it Titan Mechanic. Hapsis. Uh-huh. Um I'll play Daughter. Okay. Um, and then this guy will reap. Uh -huh. He's not destroyed, but he will be put here. Uh huh, from the King of Fans. Hapsis will fight. Okay. In the fan. The mini group think that think tank will reap. Uh huh. And then I and you have to pick one of these to do eight damage to. Or one of these. Oh, you're right. Um. I think I don't want to do anything to them. Well, you um, realize I'm about to forge my third key. Yeah. I'll just destroy this guy. You but can't because it's not next to two. Oh. It has to be next to two. I'll destroy houses. Yeah, good game. Good game. Well, that was pretty cool stuff. And you would be on check because you can spend that. Huh. What didn't we see? Remote access. Um, the you, old you had a Prefectus Ludo. Another gleam. Uh, Thero Centurion is a six power dinosaur soldier with an armor and play fight capture one. I have an information exchange. Sanitation Engineer is a four power cyborg scientist with hazardous one and reap discard a card from your hand. And another tribute. Ooh, I had a hapsis and a fetch drone. We saw that. Mustic Mermook makes each player's keys cost plus one. It's four power and when it's played it deals four damage to a creature. Add another group think tank. Ooh. Dr. Millie. Two power scientist for each creature your opponent controls play. For each creature your opponent controls in excess of you not counting Dr. Millie draw or archive a card. Ooh. That's actually pretty okay. Okay, so um 
I had three fades from the old set. Um, I buzzled the Ooh. skirmish, and it says play fight. You may purge one of Buzzle's neighbors if you do ready Buzzle. So you can just keep purging its neighbors and basically wipe the whole board. Uh, the whole board. That's pretty cool. Without it taking damage. Um, we've got Misery Exploit from the old set. Um, we've got Favor of Rex. My dad played it. We've got Dendrix. We saw that card. And then A.E. Um, on the oh. fingers. I, I would just call it I. Like it's I. Uh, I with the I. Y removed. Um, I on the fringes. It's elusive during your, and it says during your turn, after you discard a discard card from your hand, you may purge a discard card from your discard pile if you do steal one. So this has a lot of purging discards. Yeah, cards. that's cool. All right. Um, do you want to try Ooh. switching? It has a legacy Titan mechanic. Oh, fancy. That's cool. Ooh, wow. That's fun. Yeah, that's cool. Do you want to try switching? Mm, sure. Okay. So, this time we can look at Oh, yeah, and then it's it's cool because they they show um like I don't know what what that's supposed to be or something uh -huh. the type of thing it is. I don't know. Or maybe it's the set that it's from. Yeah, interesting. Pretty sure it's the set that Probably. it's from. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've only got two different ones. I'll go first this time. Okay. Cut. because there's no creature with two neighbors of its same house. I will play it. Uh, I will go on team and uh -huh. I will play Harmonia. Uh -huh. I will play Fuzzy Bruin. So I gain two and you gain one. Mm -hmm. And I will play King of Fent. Okay. For our turn. And I'll play Dendrix. I'll play three fates to gain an amber and kill these two in this. Because they're all power five. Uh, I'll play Eye on the Fringes. Discard a discard from my hand. I may purge a discard from a discard pile. <laughs> so I'll purge Dendrix. And if I do, I steal one. Okay. And then I need to draw three, four, five, six. Your turn. I will go Logos. Uh huh. Play 
fetch room, I'll play Hapsis, play it Memory Chip, and I will play it Group Think. Ooh. Okay. Your turn. So I've got some artifacts. Okay. I'll go Dees. I'll play Boar Knits Touch, Game and Amber. Uh, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Discard binding irons and purge it to steal one with the eye on the fringes. And then eye on the fringes will reap to gain one more amber. And I am at check. Okay. That's your. I will go. I'll go logos. Okay. Um. Okay. We'll have Hapsis fight Buzzle. Okay. It dies. And I draw a card. Why? Because it was destroyed. Hapsis was fighting. Oh, ward Hapsis and draw a card. Yep. Okay. Um. We'll play it. Tateu Vapors. Mm-hmm. So I draw two more cards. Um, and we'll play information exchange. Uh -huh. Um, did you steal from me last turn? I did. So I steal two. Okay. <laughs> um, then I will play it, Doctor Millie. So. For each creature your opponent controls in excess of you, not counting Dr. Millie, archive a card. Um, oh, and when I call Logos as my active house, I archive a card. Okay. Um, let's see. Look at that. Um, and then I will use Fetch Drones to discard the top two cards in my deck. Bridge logos card discarding discarded this way from the creature captures too. Mm -hmm. So we'll, let's see. One, two. So. Okay. Where are you going to capture? Um, I will capture onto Hapsis. Okay. Um, and then the group think tank will. with Adoram. Uh, destroy a creature of the house with the most creatures in play. That would be Logos. Um, Yeah, we'll just 
those trade groups in the tank. Um, I'll discard harvest time to steal one with eye on the fringes. Ooh. I'll reap with eye on the fringes. And uh, then I'll play Mellison. Wait, did you play Bone and Aaron on me? Nope. Oh. I, uh, oh, I purged it. Sorry, I'll purge that. There you go. Um, your turn. Um, I will go. What do you got? Here, at five. I'll go Sarian. I'll play Prefectus Ludo. Uh -huh. We'll play it Tribute, so that guy will capture two. You gain an Amber first. Yes. Um, I will play it Library of Pulsaurus. Uh -huh. Um, I will play it Phalanx Strike. Um, it'll do. Get an Amber. I get an Amber. And I will deal, um, one, two, three, four. I'll deal four damage to it. Okay. Getting rid of the ward. And then I will assault him to do it again. And then I get all this money. Because of that guy. To the common supply. Oh, to the common supply. Still pretty good. I'll play Prefectus Ludo. Mm -hmm. I will play Senator Shrix and exalt him. strike to deal uh, six, damage. six damage to Harmonia and then I will exalt Senator Shrix to do six damage to Ludo then I will play Favor of Rex to gain an Amber and trigger the play effect on Senator Schmix, exalting him. And then I'll play Imperial Forge. I could, oh, I forge a key at plus eight current cost, so 14, reduced by one for each Amber on friendly creatures, so 11. Do I have 11? I don't. I only have nine to spend, so I failed to forge. And it is now your turn, but check. No, you have, um, so yeah, you have one. Okay, um, so, so if I forge, I will get to spend the amber off of Ludo. Which would be super cool of Shrix, I mean. I will take, um, my archives into my hand, and I will go, sorry, play okay. Red or Glam and Red or Glam. Ooh, so he's cost 12 for me this turn. Wow. And this does not do anything. Okay. Ooh. Brutal. Go ahead. Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Huh. Okay. Low 
dose. Uh, mini group think tank will fight Praetor Galeen, taking one damage. That would deal eight damage to a creature that shares a house with two of its neighbors, but there aren't any. Um, play Sanitation Engineer, Wormhole Technician, and Reassembling Automaton. Oh, no, I'll do them that way. And then I'll play Thorium Plasmate. Gain an Amber, movement an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Deal two damage to that creature for each of its neighbors that shares a house with it. There aren't any, so. Do you want to put it here? It doesn't matter. That's good. Uh, and check. You want to deal two damage to it? I can't. Oh. I would have had to do it before I killed the other thing. Um, what are you at? Yeah, at I have seven plus three. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll go. Oh, that's thick has three copies of Senator Shrek's. That's amazing. I'll go. I'm taking. No. I'll go Logos. Okay. When I call Logos, I archive a card. Uh huh. Um. So, I will use. That. No, not yet. I'll play it Positron Bolt. Mm hmm. To deal. Three, two, one. Yeah. I'll do that. Um, okay. Then I will play Anomaly Exploiter. Uh -huh. And I will use Fetch Drones to discard. Top two. One. Two. Nope. Um, doesn't do anything. And then. Um, I will have Dr. Millie. So, because of Prefectus Ludo, that just goes to the common supply. But you did keep me from spending it. Which is pretty good. And then, your turn. Okay. Say so forge. My forge for six. just for the amber. There's no point in moving around one of your creatures and I don't get to do damage to it. Uh, I'll play Information Exchange, which lets me steal one. Uh, and then I will reap with Sanitation Engineer, which gains me an amber and lets me discard a card from my hand. I'll discard Dendrix. Eye on the Fringes says during my turn after I discard a discard from my hand, I can purge a discard from a discard pile and if I do steal one, I'll purge Misery Exploit. Yeah. Thank you. So kind. So generous. I'm not generous. <laughs> You're stealing. <laughs> Thief! Uh, I will use Reassembling Automaton to fight Retor Galeem. Reassembling Automaton, because there's other stuff, it just gets fully healed, exhausted, and moves to a flank. And then Wormhole Technician will reap. I'll reveal the top card of my deck. If it was Logos, I would get to play it. But because it's not, I'll archive it. It's Retor Galeem. Mini Group Think Tank will reap, and it, there's not a valid target to do damage. So uh, I am at check with seven. Um. I will go untamed. I'll play a natural selection. Uh huh. And I will Aww. make you keep this guy. Mm. 
You want me to keep this one because it's going to keep staying anyway. This guy and that one. Yeah. Mm. Then I will play Deepwood Druid. Uh -huh. And I will play it Wild Spirit. Uh -huh. And then I will play Mosbik mm -hmm. or Mook. Mm -hmm. um, and I will deal four damage to that thing. Mm, good choice. Um, and then I will ready my creatures, draw one, two, three. Four cards. Alright, my keys cost seven, so I spend seven to forge. Mm -hmm. I will go Sarian and return uh, my archives. I will play. Retor Gallon, uh, your keys cost plus three. Draco Preco, Senator Shrix, and I'll exalt him. Pterodactyl and Senator Shrix, and I'll exalt him. Uh, Pterodactyl comes in stunned. And it is your turn. I will draw up to six. Go ahead. Um. I'll take my archives into my hand, okay. and I will go untamed. Mm -hmm. um, I'll play regrowth, mm -hmm. return a creature from my discard pile to my hand. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to need him, so I'll return him to my hand. Um, then I will play Song of the Wild. And I will play it low down. Mm -hmm. So I will return. Well, do you have three hunting creatures in your discard pile? Probably. So I've got one, two, three. Okay, so you get two extra amber. So make sure. I don't have any more. Yep. So I just shuffle them back into my deck. Mm -hmm. Cut. Oh, that's a tiny deck. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, and then I will use Deepwood Druid uh -huh. to reap. Reap? Oh, sorry, I gained. Two when I reach the creature. Oh, yeah, yeah, and this captures one. Oh, but I don't have one to capture. Wow, that's a lot of amber out there. Wait, how would it capture one? Because of this. Oh, yes. Um, and then your turn. Okay, fancy pants. I draw one card. Right? Yeah, one tiny card. Uh, Sarian. Mm -hmm. Uh, rooted on auxiliary. Uh, Odoak the patrician captures one. Uh, Retor Galim will reap. And I'll exalt him, so your keys cost 9 next turn. Draco Preco will reap. The Senator Shrixes will each reap. And the Pterodactyl will unstun. And... It's your turn, you forge for 9. Nine. Yep. Nine. 
Um. Oh wait, you played him? Well, I reaped with him and okay. exalted him. Then I have to... You paid nine, right? Yeah, I paid nine. It cost one extra. Oh, ten, right. Right. Um, I... Thank you, I forgot about that. <laughs> um... I will go... While he has amber on him, my amber can't be stolen. Okay. I will go Sorian. Uh -huh. I will play Artor Golem. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'll play Questor Jarta. Play Arrow Centurion. Um, he uh -huh. captures one. Yeah. I'll play Tribute. Okay. Um, he captures two more. Mm -hmm. And then I will use Library of Polysaurus to move one from him to my supply. That's pretty good. And then your turn. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Pterodactyl fights the Mustak Mermook and kills all four of those. Or all three of those, sorry. Fine. Six plus two check. Okay. Um okay. I will go logos so I archive a card. Uh-huh. Um With Logos, did you have a way to draw? Um, no. Uh. Yeah. If you had had like a library battle, I would have. Yeah. Um, you know what you could have done? What? You could have used Favor of Rex to trigger my Retor Galim's play effect and make my keys cost plus three. Wait, you still would have forged. No, because I would have only had eight to spend. Oh. Yep. Well, I, I would have only been able to hold you off for one turn. Probably. Well, those were fun games. Mm -hmm. Well played. 
That's a lot of new stuff, huh? Yeah, and we, we got some of the same stuff in Sarian. Yeah, That's for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Faux show. Yeah, in fact, I was kind of surprised. Um, I think we got some of the same rares, actually. Yeah, I mean, um, also that I, we, I opened a, a legacy. Imperial Forge is a rare, yeah, that's true. Imperial Forge is a rare, yeah, Favorite Rex is a rare. Mm. Yes, that's the only rare we've both got. Well, good games. Thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for watching, if you did. And uh, you, you too can forge some keys. See you later.